When I awoke from my dreamless sleep, I was just in time to witness the end of the world. I could help you, if that's what you want. Damn it! What kind of answer is that? <laughs> uh-uh. Now that isn't going to work. <laughs> Lumina! Now that's not right. You're not supposed to throw your life away! <laughs> uh. I swear that kid is a demon. Angels of death and demons? You're attracting the wrong crowd, Snow. No one is gonna stop me. You hear? Not you, definitely not her. If I have to fight the savior, then I will.
The centuries have changed us, Snow and me. Once we fought desperately together against our fates. Now he's patron of a never-ending revel, presiding over a banquet at the end of the world. And I've become the savior. I'm a servant of God, sent to a world being consumed by chaos. Tell me, Snow. Has ever a day passed when you haven't thought about Sarah? The girl you loved, my younger sister. How long has she been gone now? She brought us together and made us allies and friends. I can't give her back to you, but I can save your soul and free you from your long torment. It'll be my first act as savior. Mr. Hope S time. Any ideas? What do I do next? Like, come on. Just call me Hope, okay? Right now, your number one priority is snow. Don't let him get away. Deemed safe. I guess that means clearing out all the monsters, right?
A glimmer of light appears at last. Is the savior a sign of coming destruction or a promise of hope? I would like to bet on hope. If you believe you are the true savior, you'll need to be carefully prepared for the battles that await you on your journey. into the chaos? Is he going there to try to stop it, or is it to use it against us somehow? You'll have to ask him yourself. Now hurry! This will be your last battle. You got in my way. How high is the obstruction? Light, you should be able to jump him. Did you notice how the people here call Snow the patron? He's in charge of this city, and has been for a long time. The patron? I don't see it. Sure, he liked to look after people, but lording it over an entire city? Well, it wasn't his choice. He started out just trying to help everyone, and eventually, he became ruler by popular acclaim. Although I'm not so sure he actually rules anything anymore. He doesn't do much these days except preside over the nightly revelry. Lord of the Feast Hall. Doesn't look like he's enjoying it much, though. When I looked into his eyes, I didn't see much of the old snow. Strange. Snow came down this way, but it's a dead end. There has to be a way to get through. I'll look around. Easy does it, Lightning. When that door opened, chaos readings in the whole area spiked. The source of the chaos is in the middle of the palace. Right, can you hear me? The chaos. What are you doing here? If you're playing around in the middle of this chaos, I'm guessing you're not human. <laughs> you can see when you're inside this stuff? Hmm. And you can't be one of God's regular lackeys, can you?
your funeral. Listen, Hope, I need more info. Can you analyze this chaos matter for me? I've been trying to do just that, but it's no good. None of my instruments will tell me anything. It's just too hard to see. What do you mean? I'm not sure. The sensors know it's there, all right. But when they actually look into it, they can't pick up anything at all. Sometimes it's so thick, my monitors go completely blank. Sorry, Light. I'll try to feed you as much info as possible, but with this chaos, I'm not much help. It's locked. Can I force it? That might be beyond even you. Hold on a second. I'll see what I can do from here. There's a lot of chaos building up back there. Yes, indeed. And Snow's inside, or whatever's left of him. Well, he has been living without hope for centuries. Now the world's about to end. He might have lost his mind entirely. If it were anyone else, I'd say that was a given. Do you think it could have gotten to him, though? Broken even his spirit? I hope not, but... <gasps> Light! You've been spotted! You've gotta get out of there, now! After coming all this way? I'm his last chance, dammit! I know what he's going through. The pain of losing Sarah. That's true. If there's anything left of Snow, as the savior, you're the only one who can rescue him. That's why you have to protect yourself. If you're killed, it really will mean the end of the world. And then who can you save? All right, fine. Take me back to the Ark. Hold on. So she'll understand his pain? She thinks she's going to save his soul? Would you listen to this nonsense? Ugh, God turns her into the savior and it all goes straight to her head. <laughs> Once upon a time, I committed a terrible sin. It happened long ago, in a past that I cannot change. I was fighting a war that never ended. I thought I was saving the world, and I needed help. So I turned to Sarah, the only family I had. She was my younger sister. I sent her to her death. I knew what I did could not be forgiven, but I prayed that someday it could be undone. Dreaming of the day I might bring her back, I fell into a long sleep. It was a sleep as dark as death. The centuries passed, and each one seemed like an eternity until... One day, the light touched me. I knew what it was. It was God himself, speaking to me. All-powerful, all-knowing, ruler of the world and sky above. 
above. Benavelza. The light was his voice, and I felt warmth on my skin as it spoke. He told me what I had to do. I would be his servant, and if I succeeded in doing his bidding, my reward would be a miracle. He said she would live again. My sister, Sarah, and I'd have her back at last. And so I was chosen by God to rescue lost souls and guide them past the end of this world and into the next. I became the savior. Light, there's something I want to tell you. Something I think you have to hear. It'll take some explaining, so when you have the time, come and talk to me.